it will happen. Here we go, they updated this. As early as Tuesday, February 2nd, the SpaceX team will attempt a high altitude test flight of Starship SN9. All right, it is now Monday night, and we can see that 11 p.m., 10.59 p.m. Pacific time, we can see Elon's jet landed in Brownsville, right by the spaceship factory here in Boca Chica. Now there's been a little small hiccup uh, from the FAA this week. Apparently the problem was that SN8 wasn't properly certified because they swapped out some of the engines on the launch pad and that apparently requires them to recertify the vehicle. But that's all behind them now. Hot off the press, here's the official FAA clearance for SpaceX to do launches as of tomorrow with Starship. This thing was just released. Now there are some spectacular videos all over Twitter and YouTube right now of SN9 and SN10 standing side by side. And we might actually see SN9 take off as early as tomorrow morning. And of course more spectacular footage from RGV aerial photography. So when the launch actually starts happening, be sure that you're tuned into the SpaceX feed. Now of course the internet will go crazy when the launch is about to happen. But also be sure that you're on the the subscribe list and you have your notifications enabled to all from their channel and usually what SpaceX does is they uh, broadcast a high quality live stream direct live from the launch uh, this is uh, SpaceX.com right now and uh, the second uh, SN9 will be ready to launch they'll have it linked ready to go here so um, just hang on tight it looks like as early as Tuesday, February 2nd, the SpaceX team will attempt a high altitude flight test of Starship serial number SN9. The second high altitude suborbital flight test of a Starship prototype from our site in Cameron County, Texas. Similar to the high altitude flight test of Starship serial number 8, SN9 will be powered through the ascent by three Raptor engines each shutting down in sequence prior to the vehicle reaching apogee, approximately 10 kilometers in altitude. SN9 will perform a propellant transition to the internal header tanks, which hold landing propellant, before reorientating itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent. The Starship prototype will descend under active aerodynamic control, accomplished by independent movement of two forward and two aft flaps on the vehicle. All four flaps are actuated by an onboard flight computer to control Starship's attitude during flight and enable precise landing at the intended location. SN9's Raptor engines will then reignite as the vehicle attempts a landing flip maneuver immediately before touching down on the landing pad adjacent to the launch mount. A controlled aerodynamic descent with body flaps and vertical landing capability combined with in-space refilling are critical to landing Starship at destinations across the solar system where prepared surfaces or runways do not exist and returning to Earth. This capability will enable a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo on long duration interplanetary flights and help humanity return to the moon and travel to Mars and beyond. There will be a live feed of the flight test available here at SpaceX.com that will start a few minutes prior to liftoff. Given the dynamic schedule of development testing, stay tuned to our social media channels for updates as we move towards SpaceX's second high altitude flight test of Starship.